Hello everyone, I am your host Derek Stuverson and today on the PE Express podcast I'm going to share how you can check in with your students with a few easy social emotional learning strategies you can immediately incorporate into your PE program. Welcome to the PE Express podcast. Two to three times a week a PE expert will share a tip, activity idea, or teaching strategy to help you become a better PE professional. Today's host and PE guru resides in the Pacific Northwest and is a physical education instructional specialist in Washington State, Derek Severson. Social emotional learning is a hot topic in schools today. Many districts, including mine, are emphasizing modeling social emotional behaviors. Social emotional learning has always been prevalent in physical education, interacting with others through cooperative, competitive, experiential, and free play provide the natural setting in our PE classroom to lay the foundation for social emotional learning. The PE environment is notorious for promoting social emotional behaviors like self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision making. Ultimately, we want our students to truly learn and value these behaviors on a daily basis, but in order to do this, we need our youth to value these skills daily. Physical education supports the opportunity for social-emotional learning, so it's important for teachers to introduce, teach, model, and reinforce those behaviors. Because at the end of the day, what we want from our students is the ability to model and eventually adopt positive social-emotional behaviors and values as their own. Here's five social-emotional practices you can immediately implement within your classroom on a daily basis. Number one, start at the door. Attempt to greet students every day as they enter your classroom. Number two, stay composed. Treat all disruptive or inappropriate behaviors with a non-judgmental approach. As much as it can bug you, keep that poker face when dealing with any unwanted behaviors. An easy way to think about this, address positive behaviors publicly and negative behaviors privately. Number three, Be intentional with positive, specific feedback. All reinforced behaviors repeat themselves. Thus, it's vitally important to provide higher rates of positive feedback over negative. Number four, maximize opportunities for peer-to-peer interactions. Small group cooperative activities and skill development is a great time where students can socialize and act as their partner's coach, offering suggestions and providing positive reinforcement. The last daily practice you can implement into your program, paint a clear picture for your students. Help students understand what social-emotional behaviors look, feel, and sound like. When observing positive social-emotional behaviors, acknowledge the individual student or students in front of their peers. Explain what you saw and give that positive feedback. Incorporating social-emotional learning on a daily basis has many positive outcomes for students. My challenge for you is to reflect on your practice in the classroom and identify new ways you can promote social emotional learning in the classroom. If you enjoyed the podcast, be sure to connect with Derek on Twitter at PhysEdDerek. Don't forget to subscribe to the PE Express podcast for more tips, activity ideas, and strategies to help you become a better PE professional. We'll see you soon right here on the PE Express podcast, powered by Gopher your resource for all things physical education.